Who's got the power, the power to read? Who answers the call for friends in need? Super Y! Super Y! He's the guy, he's Super Y! Who's got the power, the power to read? Who looks into books for the answers we need? Super Y! Super Y! And the Super With the Super Readers, adventure waits when you're with Super Y. Super Y and the Super Readers, yeah. Super Y and the Super Readers. Adventure waits when you're with Super Y. Yeah, Super Y. Glad you're here. It's me, Wyatt. <laughs> Hi, puppy. Welcome to Storybrook Village, where all our fairy tale friends live. <laughs> hey, Dad's cooking dinner tonight. Want to come? Great. Let's go. <laughs> Dad, is dinner ready? I'm starving. Go and it sure is. <laughs> okay, wash your hands and come to the table. Okay. <laughs> dinner a la dad is served. Grilled chicken, broccoli, and brown rice. <laughs> well, everything looks delicious. Yeah. Mm -mm. Here, have some chicken, Wyatt. Um, no thanks. I just want rice. Uh, how about some broccoli? Nope, just rice. Well, Wyatt, I'd, I'd really like you to have something for dinner besides rice. Aw, uh, you can't have only rice for dinner. It's not good for your body. But I only want rice. This is a super big problem. And a super big problem needs us, the Super Readers. We need to call the rest of the Super Readers. Call them with me. Say, calling all super readers. Calling all super readers. To the book club. To, to the book club. Come on, to the book club. Wyatt here. Red Riding Hood rolling in. Princess P, at your service. And you, say your name. Great, we're all here. Together, we will solve my problem. Let's go. Okay, Wyatt, state your problem. All I want for dinner is rice, but Mom and Dad said that's not okay. What do I need to eat that's good for my body? Good question, Wyatt. And when we have a question, we look... In a book! Which book shall we look in? Peas and carrots, carrots and peas. Book come out, please, please, please! Let's read the title of this book. King Eddie, who loved spaghetti. We know what to do. We need to jump into this book and find the answer to my question. First, we look for super letters. And then put them in our super duper computer. Super duper computer, how many super letters do we need? 
In this story, we need seven super letters. And then we'll get our super story answer. It's time to transform. Ready? Ready! Come on, puppy, you're coming too. <laughs> Woof! Super duper! Arms in. Put your arm in. Super readers, to the rescue! Alphabet! With alphabet power! Wonder Red! With word power! Princess Presto! With spelling power! Spaghetti. Yum, yum, yum! Delicious! King Eddie only ate spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti! <laughs> One day, his royal chef served something that was not spaghetti. This isn't spaghetti. I only want spaghetti! <laughs> And that, Super Readers, is why we are in this book. King Eddie and I both want to eat one kind of food. To King Eddie! Woof, woof, this way! Woof, woof! Mm, spaghetti! Uh-uh! Spaghetti! You need to try some new foods. Hi, King Eddie. We're the Super Readers, and we're here to help. Oh! Have you brought spaghetti? Nope. Sorry. Oh. What else can I eat? Hmm. Oh, look! Maybe you can find something to eat in your lovely vegetable garden. Ooh, okay. To the vegetable garden! Oh, my peas! And carrots! And broccoli! And peas! Hmm. I don't know. Vegetables are delicious. They have lots of vitamins and minerals that make your body healthy and strong. Hmm. Strong? Very well. I'll try some vegetables. Wait. Look at these signs. Ripe. Ripe. This sign says ripe. And this sign says not ripe. What does ripe mean? Woofster to the rescue! With my doggy dictionary, I can tell you what any word means. Ripe means tasty and ready to eat. Right. Now we know what it means. Woof de doo! Give your tail a wag. Ripe food sounds delicious. I want some beets. They're ripe and ready to eat. Or, wait, maybe a carrot. Wait, why are there no vegetables on my plate? Well, don't look at me. I just cooked the food. How can I get some vegetables to eat? Alpha Pig to the rescue! With my 
amazing alphabet shovel, I can dig up the ripe vegetables for you to eat. First, we need a vegetable that starts with the letter C. Hmm. Which vegetable starts with the letter C? There! Carrots! Carrots start with a C. Hmm. Now we need a vegetable that starts with the letter B. Which vegetables start with the letter B? Those over there! Beets! Beets start with a B. Let's dig! Now, which vegetable starts with the letter S? That one! Spinach! Spinach starts with an S. Woo! Oh. Lickety letters! We use our letters to take up vegetables for King Eddie. Let's give ourselves a big thumbs up. It's veggie time! <gasps> Always clean your vegetables! Bon appetit. First, I'll try spinach. Oh. Mm. It's... It's yummy! Now, I'll try carrots. A oh, crunchy! And now, beets. Mm. Mm. Well, we beets are brilliant. <clears throat> Everybody, I have an announcement. I no longer want only spaghetti. <laughs> I only want beets. King Eddie, I told you, it isn't good for your body to eat only one kind of food. Follow me. I have other food for you to try. Huh. Don't forget to look for super letters. You see a super letter? Which one? R! R! Let's put it in. Our super duper computer! Six more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer. Right on, readers. This food looks scrumptious. What is it? Chicken, Ooh. beans, and a meatball. These foods all have protein. Protein makes you strong, like this. Yes! <laughs> protein power! Protein sounds perfect. Hmm. Which protein shall I try first? Here's some chicken. Hmm. Mm. Good. Try some beans. Pretty good. Now a meatball! Oh, wait. Wait, there's no meatball. Where's my meatball? <gasps> but I want to try a meatball! Hmm. You the sparkles. You the music. Princess Presto to the rescue! With my magic spelling wand, I can make a meatball for King Eddie. Spell with me. What letter makes the sound mmm? M. Wands up. Write a lowercase m with me. Next are the letters E and A. And in this word, the E and A are a vowel team. They make the E sound. Write a lowercase e with me. Now write a lowercase a. Great job on that vowel team! Now, what letter makes the sound t? T! T! Write a lowercase t with me. What letter makes the sound b? B! <gasps> b! Write a lowercase b with me.
In this word, the letter A makes the ah sound. Write a lowercase a with me. Keep your wand up. We're almost through. Now, what letter makes the sound L? L! L. Write two lowercase l's with me. One L. Two L. Ooh. M E A T B A L L. Meatball. Presto! <gasps> huh? Only one meatball? But I've got a king-sized appetite! Hmm. Oh, I know. Adding an S at the end of a word makes more than one. Oh. Meatballs. Presto! <gasps> Meatballs! Protein! Hooray! Spectacular spelling! We spelled meatballs and made meatballs for King Eddie. Let's take a bow. Yummy, yummy meatballs in my tummy. You see more super letters? Which ones? A E Y A E and why? Now we need to put them in our super duper computer! Three more super letters, and then we'll get our super story answer! Super job, super readers! <clears throat> Everybody, I have an announcement! I no longer want only beets. Yay! I only want meatballs! Oh, no. King Eddie, I told you, it's just not good for your body to eat only one thing. But if I can't eat only meatballs, and I can't eat only beets, I might as well eat only spaghetti! Oh, but King Eddie, you need a little bit of every kind of food so your body can be healthy. But I can only eat spaghetti. It says so in my story, see? King Eddie eats spaghetti, spaghetti, and spaghetti. What can I do? Super Y to the rescue! With the power to read, I can change this story and save the day. Let's change the word spaghetti in this <laughs> sentence. All three of them. Zap, zap, zap. Why, writer? Right. We're going to help make King Eddie a meal that's good for his body. First, let's pick a vegetable. Which one of these words is a vegetable? Beets, oatmeal, or meatballs? Beets! Beets. Where's the word beets? It has two E's. There! There! Zap! Super! But he still needs another kind of food. Which one of these words is a food with a lot of protein? Popcorn? Spinach? Or meatballs? Meatballs! Meatballs! Where's the word meatballs? It ends with an S. There! There! Zap! Uh, Super Y, could you keep that last spaghetti in the sentence? If I eat it with the beets and the meatballs? You got it, King Eddie. Plus, spaghetti is a grain, and grains give you lots of energy. Let's read our new sentence. King Eddie eats beets, meatballs, and spaghetti. Mm. Beets, meatballs, and my beloved spaghetti. So many different foods. Now that's what I call variety. 
super job, super readers. We changed the story and saved the day. Woof de doo! And here's a very healthy glass of water. You had a glass of water in your purse? <laughs> a princess is always prepared. This is a meal fit for a king. Oh. You see our last super letters? Which ones do you see? I V T. I V T. Let's put them in our super duper computer. We found all of our super letters. Now we can get our super story answer. Mm. Bye, super readers. Thank you. You're welcome, King Eddie. King Eddie. Thank you. Thank you. Woof. Why flyers? Back to the book club. Come on, Wolfster. Woof. We found the super story. With super Wide. Super duper computer, give us our super story answer. Read the letters with me. V A R I E. T Y Variety. The super story answer is variety. But why? Because King Eddie learned that he needed to eat a variety of different types of foods to be healthy. He needed variety. Each type of food gave him something different that was good for his body. So my question is, what do I need that's good for my body? And your answer is... Variety! Oh, variety! I need to eat different types of foods to give my body what it needs to be healthy. Let's go back to my house. Mom, Dad, I think I'm ready to try serving myself dinner again. Okay, Wyatt, go for it. Let's see. I'll take different types of food, so I have variety. I have rice for grains, now broccoli for vegetable, and chicken for protein. Nice work, Wyatt. You have lots of variety on your plate, and that's very good for your body. Uh, just one more question, everyone. What, Dad? How do you like my cooking? Delicious. Terrific. <laughs> hip, hip, hooray! The Super Readers saved the day. Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! The Super Readers saved the day! We changed the story, we solved the problem, we worked together so hip, hip,